look at you. What do you got going on Co here? A couple things I've been working on. You know, winter months, it gets dark out early, so. You gotta stay busy, right? I'm back in the shop. So I made this box, a little box joint there. Got a bottom to it. Nice. Uh, saw blade storage, 10 inch blades. Oh, that is actually a really good idea. I got a pile of these just thrown on the bottom of a drawer. I like that. I like to keep them organized. What's cool about this too is it's actually got a cleat built into the rear. So I can put a French cleat on the wall and hang these up. Very nice, okay. Nice, uh, sophisticated looking push stick right there, yeah. right? Yeah, it's pretty nice. What's cool is I cut all of these with a mobile CNC router. Mobile CNC, this thing right here? This is it. All Small right. but efficient. I think of a um, CNC machine and there's, you know, sort of a medium to large size dedicated table. You got the cutting head or router sort of attached to it. Yeah. Definitely not something like that. They do have kind of a big footprint. This is mobile. It also has a smaller footprint. I can use it in my shop and put it back in the box and we're not using it. So this is the router itself. It's guided on this track. It goes up and down, left and right. It has a built-in viewing screen and computer right into it. Mm. I can grab a file and I'm ready to cut. Okay, so I get the whole sort of grabbing a file because mm. the CNC needs that, but like, how does the router know where to go when it's portable? So the way it guides itself is it has a set of cameras on the front, and it actually you create a work, workspace using this marking tape. Once you have it all laid out and scanned, you can drop a, uh, drop a file and cut it. So just put the tape on any surface? Sort you of get, just yeah, you lay the tape right down, three, four inch increments, huh. and then you put your work piece in between or in front of it, wherever it needs to go. So it's not going to cut anything here. This is your work piece that's only going to cut there. I'm just going to cut right here. I have some double-sided tape, so nothing's going to go anywhere. All right, I got to see this. What I have to do is create a work surface. And so this is the part where you sort of tell the router where it is in relation to its work uh, surface? Exactly. Oh. It shows you what the camera sees. Exactly. And then you're just trying to get the camera to look at all the different lines. So if, uh, after I've tracked over all the marking tape, so it now has said where X, Y is, one, two, three, or whatever. Yeah, what's cool, it even shows my workpiece right in the middle. Huh, that's clever. And the thing that we're going to make today? I actually have a NASA Little House logo. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll go import that. There it is. Oh, so it's nice. a little big, so we want to scale it down a little bit. Oh, so it shows the actual file overlaid on the piece. Exactly. So I, I know exactly where it's going to land when I place it. Huh. So let's go here. We'll just so find we'll fit left and right. There it is. So now that we have our oh. our file placed, you can see that there's actually this hovering green line, this tracking line, and that's the path that the router is going to follow as I work it along. And what's cool is I'm just going to move it by hand, but since the spindle free floats, it's going to make up for all my inaccuracies. So it gives you the outline, tells you the direction to move the router in, yep. and you just have to sort of roughly hit the line. It'll do the precision work. Yep, exactly. Nice. Well, you actually don't even have to be that precise, just so long you're roughly on the line, right? Yeah. It can make up for quite a bit of uh, deflection. So if it's small enough, it fits within the circle, you don't even have to move the router? Exactly. If it fits within that workspace and you just hold the green trigger down, you can cut it all out. Not bad. Not bad at all. And very precise. Look at that. It's an accurate little tool. It is. That's pretty cool. Thanks yeah. for showing that to us. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.